Hello, uh, this is Sadashu Fadnis, Product Marketing Manager for Rubidium Signal Generators here at uh, Anritsu. In this video, I will be demonstrating a simple and inexpensive method to make amplitude response measurement using analog sweep option and frequency marker feature in Rubidium. We will use a simple oscilloscope that supports XY mode and an Anritsu RF detector 75KC50. 75KC50 is a 40 gigahertz detector with a dynamic range of minus 30 to plus 20 dBm. Here is the setup to make amplitude response measurement. RF output of rubidium signal generator is connected to device under test or DUT which is a bandpass filter centered at 1.85 gigahertz. The output of DUT is connected to input of 75KC50 RF detector. The output of the detector is connected to channel 2 of oscilloscope. Rubidium's horizontal output available on the back panel is connected to channel 1 of the oscilloscope. Ethernet ports of Rubidium and oscilloscope are connected to my PC through an Ethernet switch. This enables me to run remote GUIs for each instrument on the PC so that I can control and configure Rubidium as well as display waveforms of oscilloscope. Here is the PC screen with the two remote GUIs. This is Rubidium remote GUI. It pretty much mirrors the GUI on the front panel of Rubidium and allows me to configure parameters just like on the front panel. This is the oscilloscope GUI. Uh, the oscilloscope has a VXI11 server and a snapshot of uh, oscilloscope's display is published on a page every 10 milliseconds or so. Uh, this GUI on my screen here accesses that page. We are going to access this page to look at waveforms and to measure amplitude response. We'll first set the output level of Rubidium. Uh, so let's go over to the screen. Uh, the level currently is plus 0 dBm, so let me set it to something um, much higher than that. Let's set it to plus 13 dBm so that we have enough power to make the measurement. Uh, plus 13 dBm. Okay. Um, we will then move over to the sweep menu. Uh, this is the main sweep menu, so let's choose um, analog sweep. Uh, this is the setup screen for analog sweep. Now remember uh, our DUT is a bandpass filter centered around 1.85 gigahertz with a pass band of 200 megahertz. So let's first set up the start point and I'm going to set it to 1.7 gigahertz, closer to the band edge of the bandpass filter. And I'm going to set up the stop point to say 2 gigahertz. Uh, again, closer to the um, higher end of the stop band of bandpass filter. Um, we will also set the trigger to auto and there are several options here auto single or external we'll be using auto so which means uh, the sweep will be triggered internally continuously uh, there are two more settings to check uh, before enabling the analog sweep um, so let's go to level menu and within that, let's go to setup menu. Uh, check the retrace RF setting on this screen 
make sure that it is set to off retrace rf is set to off and then we uh, move on to the system menu and click on the config sub menu within the system menu and set the rf set the ramp rest to start there are two choices here start or stop uh, make sure that it is set to start uh, now we will go back to the sweep menu again um, so that lands us in the trigger sub menu so we will go up to the setup menu uh, earlier we had set the start and the stop points now let's set the sweep time uh, let's set the sweep time to say 100 milliseconds which is 0.1 second uh, which is uh, fast enough to make some real-time measurements um, okay so with these three settings uh, I think we are good to enable the analog sweep now when analog sweep is enabled rubidium outputs a voltage that is proportional to instantaneous frequency between start and stop points of the RF sweep this is called the horizontal output signal it is a ramp signal with a peak of plus 10 volts as mentioned while describing the setup we have connected this uh, horizontal output signal to channel 1 of the oscilloscope. We have also connected output of RF detector to channel 2 of the oscilloscope. Let's take a look at these two signals on the oscilloscope now. Let me take a snapshot. <coughs> okay, so what you see on this oscilloscope display is the horizontal output um, uh, at the at the top uh, here uh, this is the beginning of the ramp this is the end of the ramp so which means this is the beginning of the sweep and this is the end of the sweep i have set up two markers over here um, and at, which is you know marker one is at the beginning of the ramp and the marker two is at the end of the ramp and the delta between these two is 99.2 milliseconds uh, which is uh, which is just a bit shy of what we had set uh, on rubidium you know the, the sweep time that we had set which is 100 milliseconds uh, the markers are showing us 99.2 milliseconds pretty close um, the the waveform at the bottom here is the RF detectors output and you can see that uh, the RF detector goes low whenever it detects an RF signal um, and then goes high uh, when the signal goes off right so the uh, the uh, output of detector is inversely proportional to the RF signal that's coming in. Uh, so what uh, what we will do is uh, we will for this for this uh, channel two waveform we will invert this waveform in the oscilloscope. So I have set the oscilloscope channel two uh, to invert mode. Uh, let me take a snapshot again. Okay, so you can see now that uh, the channel 2 is displaying um, positive voltage whenever it detects an RF signal and then a low whenever uh, the RF signal goes off. Right, so this is uh, the right polarity. Uh, so we are going to use these two signals, the signal at the top which is the horizontal output um, and the signal at the bottom these two uh, in XY mode so we are going to set the oscilloscope in XY mode 
the ramp signal will be uh, the X uh, signal, so which means it will uh, drive the horizontal axis and then uh, this channel 2 uh, output uh, will, will drive the vertical axis. So let's set the oscilloscope to XY mode uh, and what this should display once you set the oscilloscope to XY mode, it should uh, display the amplitude response of uh, our DUT, which is uh, the filter. So I have set the oscilloscope to XY mode. Um, you may have to make some adjustments in terms of uh, each of the channel offsets so that you can get the amplitude response in the center of the screen. Uh, but having uh, made all that, uh, let me take a snapshot of uh, uh, the oscilloscope page. Okay, so here you see the amplitude response of the filter essentially. Um, as I was mentioning, the ramp signal, the horizontal output signal, uh, is driving the x-axis in the xy mode, um, that is which is channel 1. So it is set to 1 volt per division uh, here and um, as I had mentioned before, uh, the horizontal output uh, is uh, plus 10 volts at the peak. So uh, when you set the channel 1 to 1 volt per division, and you can see there are 10 divisions here. So this is uh, from bottom of the ramp to the peak of the ramp, so which is driving the horizontal axis uniformly. And then on the vertical axis, we were using for the Y, you know, for the Y signal, we were using channel two. Uh, so the channel two signal was the RF output from the detector. And this has been set to 200 millivolts per division, and uh, there are about four and a half divisions. So, the output of the um, uh, detector gives you almost 900 millivolts. Um, and and remember, we have set the uh, the output level to plus 13 dBm, uh, and at plus 13 dBm, the the uh, uh, the RF detector is giving you nearly 900 millivolts of output and when in the stop band it's giving you nearly zero, right? So this is your uh, pass band response and these two are your stop band uh, uh, skirts, right, on, on, on both sides. Now the the one additional thing we could do uh, with uh, with this with this measurement on the scope is we can also enable frequency markers. Um, you know, rubidium generates frequency markers in the analog sweep, and we can enable them. So let's go and enable the frequency markers. Uh, you can uh, set them. Um, on the frequency menu. So let's go to, this is the frequency menu and then go to markers. And then if you choose this next um, uh, screen, you can set the frequency for the markers. And I have already set uh, some markers here. And as I had mentioned, the center frequency of, of this uh, uh, filter is 1.85 and the bandages are 1.75 and 1.95. So let's enable these three markers. Uh, so which which uh, should appear at the bandages and at the center. Uh, let's go back here again. And let's enable the intensity marker. And let's take a snapshot uh, to see how the markers show up. Okay, so here you see the three markers. 
one at the lower end uh, which is 1.75 one at the higher end 1.95 and one at the at the center right uh, these three but you could set the markers wherever you want uh, for example i could set some intermediate points um, say 1.8 and 1.9 so let me enable all these markers go back and let me uh, take another snapshot here so you see all the markers that I have all the five markers uh, that I had set so this is uh, 1.75 I think 1.8 uh, 1.85 in the center 1.9 and 1.95 so you can you can enable the markers and you can use those markers to um, to set your pass band and the stop band when you're uh, tuning the filter and uh, the sweep speed is fast enough it's about 100 milliseconds so that you can continuously so it's a, it updates uh, if you see on the oscilloscope it keeps on updating the screen and I can update he here on the GUI once again um, and you can you can see this response um, so this is how you can see or you can measure amplitude response uh, of a passive device or an active device uh, using a very simple uh, setup right you you use just the most inexpensive uh, oscilloscope along with the uh, analog sweep in, in rubidium and you can make this measurement. Now uh, the question is uh, what is the dynamic range of this measurement? Uh, when when this signal hits very uh, zero or very low value and when the signal hits very high value what is the delta between these two? Um, so if you look at the RF detector specifications, uh, RF detector gives you um, uh, nearly uh, a few millivolts, like five millivolts signal at minus 30 dBm. When the signal is, when the RF input to it is minus 30, and it gives you nearly one volt output with a peak of uh, plus 13 or plus 15 dBm. So it's plus 15 and minus 30. So you're getting a dynamic range of uh, 45 dB almost uh, with this setup. Um, so it can't get anything simpler than this. You're just using an oscilloscope, uh, an inexpensive oscilloscope, an RF detector, which is also inexpensive and uh, you know uh, analog sweep of uh, rubidium a very simple way to make uh, amplitude response measurement